In this video, if you do this, you will never be broke again. I remember when someone taught me this, I'm about to teach you what these five things are. And I promise you that if you do exactly what I tell you to do, you will never be in a position to say, oh, John, I don't have the money. The way I was able to create multiple seven-figure businesses and now obviously financially free, I can do what I want when I want is because of these four things. So let me show you how this works. The mistake that a lot of people do is they, when they make money, the first thing they do is they just blow it up, right? You don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to separate it into certain things. So the first thing you want to do is you want to separate part of your income into what we call a play fund. What is a play fund for? A play fund is, I don't know if you've, any of you have a husband, a wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, you have a joint account and someone will spend some money in that joint account and then that person comes back and says, hey, why did you buy that? You know, you shouldn't have spent my money. And so you always have these arguments. In fact, actually when you do this, you know, like most arguments, it starts because of money. So when, when I show you this, you're probably not, that argument is, is level is gonna go down, which means it's gonna make your relationship better. So you wanna separate some of your money into a play fund, right? Next thing you wanna do, you want to separate a portion of that into an investment fund. You may have heard the saying, save money for a rainy day. My saying is invest money for a rainy day. The reason why I was able to create multiple seven figure businesses and list a company on the stock exchange is because I'm investing. Do you know how long it takes? Like if you, if you were to save 300 pound a month, right? Do you know how it would take you 27 years like in a whole year to save up 100,000 approximately, right? So what you want to do is you, the part of the money that you get, you want to put some into the play fund so you can enjoy nice things and buy silly things that go down in value. But also a part of that is you want to invest some of that as well. Invest it into stock, buy shares, buy stock, buy real estate. But you've got to invest in something. The idea when you make income is to multiply that income that you earn because you work so hard for it. You want to have that income work for us. Okay, next one is give. You gotta take a portion of your money and give it. When I say give it, I don't just mean like give it to random people. I mean, have a portion of it to give to somebody else or to some cause or to something that you truly believe in. So for example, I build schools in Africa. I support younger education and we actually support the younger um, empowered youth program. So one of the things that you wanna do is, and the reason why this is important is because when you give, you're coming from the mindset of abundance. You're, you're, you're not coming from the mindset of scarcity where there's not enough. You're coming because when you give, the universe will give you more back. I don't know if you've ever done that before where that, like, if you hold onto something so bad, like what you focus on, you attract more into your life. If you focus on never having money and not being able to give, you'll never have any money. How many of you have actually given and support to the cause and then somehow more money just came back? Right, so I can tell you this stuff works a lot. Now the next one, this is one I still do do to today. Is to educate, right? You need to put some money into your education. Let me tell you right now, if you are a doctor, you will have invested a lot of money in a medical degree. If you are a lawyer, you would invest a lot of money in, in a law degree, right? So. What I'm saying is with education, the reason why most people are not able to earn more and not create enough wealth is because they're not able to educate themselves. They're, they're not learning new things. They're not doing new things. And you know, when you do new things, you get new results. If you do old things, you get old results. So what you have to do is you have to educate and invest in yourself to acquire more, uh, what I call a higher skill set a more specialized skill set. So I educate myself on investing. I educate myself on marketing and branding. I educate myself on sales training. I educate myself on running a company and leadership. I educate myself on real estate investing. I educate myself on how to um, build a team. So because I'm acquiring all these different skills, it's like a superpower. I remember watching um, a, a show called, I don't know if any of you have seen the show before, it's called a show called Heroes. If you have, just type in yes below, like, just let me know who's your favorite character in the TV show Heroes. There was one character in there called Sila. And Sila, his special power would be to be able to go to any other character 
right, and acquire their powers. So if someone could do become invisible, I could touch that person, become invisible, and if someone could fire fire from the mouth, I could touch that person, and become fire, right. And so this person would go around acquiring these abilities, which made him the strongest character in that show. And I take that as a funny metaphor in your education, but most people don't educate themselves. The more you put into this with action translates more into this. And so I ask you the question, how much education you put into yourself? The answer to that is none. That's why you're not making and increasing your wealth. And that's why maybe you're broke because you're not investing in yourself. And if you are, you're not taking action. And we come to the last part, which is really also important as well, is the savings. So you do have to save some of your money because if you don't save it, you're gonna be spending all the time. So when you save it, you'll have some money for a rainy day, but now because you've invested for a rainy day, you can now save some for a rainy day. You can't just rely on that because that can just take you out. And here's the problem with what most people do. Play account, when they get all the money, they either spend it all, right? And that's not good because what you spend, it has to make you ROI. Or some people take all their money, they invest it in things like, I know friends who invest in things like cryptocurrencies and things that have gone up and when it's gone down, they've lost it all, right? So that's why you wanna have a fund. If you, if you lose it all, it doesn't matter because you still got all of this. Giving, I find a lot of people not giving because they're holding on. And when you're in scarcity, you attract what into your life. Education, I see a lot of people not educated, like buy books, go to seminars, get a mentor, get a coach, get a trainer, keep constantly educating yourself. Pay to work for somebody. I know that sounds crazy, pay to work for somebody else. Find someone who already got what you want and pay them to want to work for them, not the other way around. You want to, uh, you want to work to learn, not to earn. And the last one, savings. And again, a lot of people save all of it, they hold on to it, they hold, they hold it in the bank accounts. So and right now, you're not getting the best ROI. The banks are not giving you the best interest. So these are the, the five things you can do to never be broke again. Hope you found this useful. Do me a favor, comment below with any other strategies that you have to be able to earn more, not to be broke again. And also, if you love this content, then I've created a lot more videos. I'll put a link to some of the videos that I've created with more different training. And but make sure you like, subscribe, follow, and so you don't miss out on all the new content that I'll be creating to help you learn faster and earn more and accelerate that process. This is John Lee, the author of The Wealth Dragon Way. Bye for now.